Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to do a little bit more fishing. We're at the same spot we was at last time. Going to give it another try. There's fish in here. They were biting last time, just wasn't catching them. So uh, let's give it another try. Hey guys, I got one on here. Feels decent. Let me get you back here a little bit. Oh, he's up here on the bank. He swam to me. Okay, I've got to get the net. Are you recording? Yeah, baby. I'm a big old catfish here. Let me get his. Let me get the hook out of his mouth, and then we'll. Uh, I'll show him to you. Okay, hang tight, guys. There he is, guys. It's not a catfish. Check him out. He's beautiful. Let's get him on the scale. I don't know if you can see that. 2.82 pounds. Almost three pounds. Now. We're gonna measure him and see what he how what his length is. Twenty-one inches. <laughs> Woohoo! Was that a bowfin or mudfish or whatever? A lot of people won't eat this fish, but I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Yeah, right on. Nice fish. So, talked to a couple guys, stopped by on a golf cart, showed them the fish. Uh, they seem to think it's a it's a mudfish or bowfin too. I'm not a high boy. I know I've been down here six years, but you know, I mean, I don't know much about it because I really don't catch that that many. You know, it's usually bluegill or catfish. You know, so um, I did catch that gar that one time. It's hard to mistake that for anything else. So, uh, yeah, I forgot my BWC, and it's in my camera bag. So if I don't have it sitting there, I'll forget it. I'll forget to get my camera bag and get it out. So that's why I got to move you around like I did. Uh, they're still biting, getting some bites. No runners. That was the only runner I had and I caught it, but they are biting, so I'm thinking it's something, something little. I don't know if you can see my pole. I am getting some bites here. Where you at? There's the tip of my pole there. And of course you can hear the air boats. Yeah, see I'm getting a bite there now. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> I think guess Bruno's getting in some shenanigans up there. I keep hearing her say, Bruno, get over here. <laughs> She's got him on his lead. He likes to like get under a chair and get in the shade and stuff. Of course, it's overcast day today, but and uh, he'll get wrapped up. And she'll have to untangle him. So yeah, we'll see if this bite. I'm gonna make another another cast, maybe on out to the right there a little bit more, because I think whatever this is hitting on this thing's little. So all right, guys, I'll be back with you. It's gonna be a 
hook and cook day. That's what I'm going to call it. And we'll see how many people, because it's usually catch and clean or whatever, catch and cook or catch, clean and cook. I'm going to start calling it hook and cook. Let's see how many people catch on to that. I'll be back with you guys. Hang tight. Yay. Okay, guys, sorry about the wind. What you got, Monk? A turtle. Aww. What kind of turtle? <laughs> What kind of turtle you got here? I don't know. What kind is he? Soft shell. We call them leatherbacks in Ohio. Oh yeah. But he's a soft shell. See so a little oh, he's snow. Not a snapping turtle. No, he'll bite you. Yeah. yeah. But he's not. No, he's not a snapper. But he will bite you. Is he all right? He's fine. Yes. Well, yeah. Show you what he did to her hook. Where'd I put it? I thought I'd put it. here it is. Trying to get that hook out of his mouth. I don't like to. A lot of guys will just cut the line. These hooks will eventually rust, but it's hard for them to eat, and so I try to get the hook out whenever I can. Right. All right. You got all your pictures and video you want? Yeah, because right now it's just going around. Come on. There he goes. Bye. And he's gone. <laughs> Good job, Monk. Thank you. He I made me. A fish, though. He made me run for no reason. I'm sorry, but he was heavy, and I didn't know what he was. What do you weigh? Ten <laughs> pounds. Ten point seven five. Ten point seven five. Exactly ten and three quarter pound. All right, I gotta fix her her line and stuff, so. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, so monkey caught a turtle. That's her first turtle uh, that she's ever caught. 10.75 pounds, so 10 and 3 quarter pounds even. So, uh, yeah, that one I caught, that big one, that one time was, uh, it was 15 pounds. <laughs> it's the first thing she has. How much was yours? How big was yours? <laughs> but she got him, so she brought him in herself. I ran up there probably tell well run more or less walk swiftly with the net and I got it out of the out of the channel for her but she, I mean you know she caught it so good job monk <laughs> all right back to fishing well I'm seeing some raindrops and I'm feeling some raindrops, so I'm going to get ready and get packed up here, see if Monkey needs some help. We'll go to the house and we'll clean this fish. Hook and cook. Right on, guys. Okay, guys. So I was right either way. It is a mudfish, but it's a bowfin. A mudfish is another name for a bowfin. It's also called a dogfish and some kind of pike or something like that so I don't know what she's she's filming but I'm gonna speed you guys up idea I'm gonna shut you off I'm gonna clean this and see if I get any more off that tail I doubt it but we'll have something to try it anyway okay guys I'm gonna make a little beer batter here I'm just using this in a beer it's just bush uh, they say you know if you want a good batter uh, make it out of a light lager but I found any beer that you like is just fine I, I've made it with several different kind of beers I couldn't really tell a difference in the taste to me most of the taste comes from uh, the seasoning so I'm just gonna put some flour in here I'm gonna put an egg 
put this beer, put some of this beer in here. I'm gonna mix it up. I want the consistency to be about like a pancake batter or something like that. So, just some pepper in here. Really good deep fried. You can use this on onion rings, uh, wedge you up some, you know, potato wedges and. Get some seasoned salt in here. All right, now uh, let me see what we got here. A little bit of cayenne pepper just to give it a little kick. All right. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a whisk, just kind of incorporate that a little bit there. It'll mix up as we get the batter going. I'm going to put an egg in here. All right. Like I said. I don't know how much flour I use. I just just get a consistency of like a pancake mix or so if it's a little too thin, you know, you can um, you can add more flour. If it's too thick, like it is there, just add you a little more beer, maybe another egg if you want. Alright, so I'm going to keep doing this, and when I get it to the consistency I want, I'll kick you back on. And then we'll get the pan ready. I'm just going to fry it up. Uh, deep frying's the best, but um, I'm just going to pan fry it. I don't have a deep fryer, so yeah, see it's starting to... Starting to get to a little better consistency now. So this is what I'm going to keep doing, and then I'll bring you back when I get the fish prepared. All I'm going to do with the fish, uh, I've let it soak in salt water for a couple hours. I like to uh, leave them soak overnight if if you can, but if not, it's not a big deal. So, but it's been soaking salt water, and I'll get that prepped. And uh, then we'll dip them and we'll fry them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start dipping my fish in, in the batter. I like my oil to be around 350 degrees. Some guys will say 375, some guys will say 325. And I'm just gonna put these in just until, some people say golden brown, but I like them a little less brown but turn my heat up you don't want to overcook your fish it just gets chewy I'm sure it's not going to be as good as the uh, the mangrove snapper that we had. A couple of little pieces here for Bruno. My oil should have been a little bit, oops, a little bit hotter, but it'll be all right. Just got to let it cook a little longer. That's all. And now the big boy. Making a mess here.
Yeah, it's starting. It's starting to pick up pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'll kick you back on when I get ready to flip these over. Then you'll get to see what it looks like. Stick around, guys. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. I know you're not supposed to add seasoning while stuff's cooking. That's poppycock. You add seasoning anytime you want. A little bit of lemon juice here. There we go. Get some more pepper. Now I'll bring you back when we time to flip them. Okay, let's give these things a, a flip here. Okay, very nice. Looking pretty good. Like I said, I've never had both in before. Like I said, it's probably not going to be as good as a mangrove snapper, but it's fish, right? Right, Mama? Yep. She's behind the camera there. Whoa. All right, I'm going to let these cook up. I may flip them another time or two. And then uh, I'll bring you back when I get them plated up and we're going to let monkey try it first. <laughs> Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, here's what it looks like. It's just fish, right, Mama? Special fish. Special fish? Yeah, you caught okay, it. Okay, let's kind of go right about there. Get you a fork. Special fish. Give you in front of camera. I don't think I've ever had this fish. Probably not. Most people don't eat it, but it's fish. It smells good. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah, I like it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, there goes my supper. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Mm -mm. Don't taste fishy to me. Mm. Well, as long as it don't taste fishy to me, I'm good. That's I hate good. when people say that it's fish. I know, but I don't want to bite into taste. fish and have it taste like spinach. No. <laughs> what do you I think, mean, Mom? you can taste the fish. It's fine. It's I mean, it's not like overbearing. It's not like shazam good, no. but it, it's fine. Oh yeah. That's um, good. There's nothing wrong with that. We'll eat it again. Yeah. It'd be good smoked on a fire or something. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It tastes fine. It's not as good as the mangrove snapper. No. But, that was good. But this, yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, it's edible. Mm. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. None. I'd eat it. Nothing no wrong problem. with it. Okay, guys, so there you go. There's our, our hook and cook. Hook and cook. Our first hook and cook video, huh? Yay! <laughs> I did put a little bit of lemon on here after I took them out of the pan. I did like the lemon on there. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good with lemon. Lemon pepper would be really good. Mm -hmm. Lemon yeah. pepper with it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Mont, good job on your turtle. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> she calls me the turtle man, so she yeah. finally caught a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to get something on my tooth. It's oh, killing me. I'm sorry. My knees hurting, my back's hurting because I had to run up and help her with a turtle. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I said, I'm coming. I was getting a bite, so I had to reel it in because I didn't want my pole to be gone when I got back. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm coming. She said, well, hurry up. <laughs> well, I I'm thought like, it was really? a big, huge fish, and then I seen his little head, and I'm like, oh, it's a turtle. It's a pretty good size head. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten and three quarters of a pound. Yeah. This was uh, a little under... Three pound, two pound, eighty-two. I like that spot. Two point eight two, there. so yeah, a little over two and three quarter pounds. Stuff there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Here, Bruno, you want to try a piece? I got Bruno a couple pieces here. He liked that fishy. Yeah. Oh, he loves it. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Very nice. Taking these chomps. You get some more too, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Shea Bird, Myth Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. Uh, I know somebody wanted to see, they couldn't wait for the next camping video. We can't either, but my back has been messed up. 
But we're going to try to go next weekend. And yeah. we're going to try to go to a new spot. Yeah. But i got to get the boat situated first. Um, so we're going to try that out. We don't see any private property signs or we don't see any no trespassing signs. So we're going to try it there. But hopefully next weekend. We just got to see how everything goes. But so stick around. I know you're waiting. And I promise it, it'll be soon. huh? Yeah. Even if it's a back yard camp out i know a lot of people don't like that but it's still camping yeah. anyway guys thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys bye y'all